uh, should we begin the session? Yes, yes, ma'am, sure. Okay, fine. So, good afternoon, Surabhi. Good afternoon, ma'am. How are you doing? Okay. Yeah, I'm doing quite great. Yes, since morning, I was just caught up here and there. But yes, I made myself free for this session. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Thank you so much. I'm glad you reached out to me. Uh, you know, it's my honor to have a conversation with a woman like you. You're retired and yet you're so energetic. You really are an inspiration for other women. <laughs> Actually, I, I want to know a little more about you. I just know your name. More than that, I don't know anything else. Yes, ma'am, sure. So my name is Surbhi Goyal and I'm originally from a small town, Mandi Gubingar. It's known for its iron and steel industries. It's in Punjab. And after marriage, I'm settled in Panchkula or you can say Chandigarh because Chandigarh and Panchkula are neighbors. Okay. And I started my career. Okay, before that, let me talk about my education. So I did my master's of arts in English literature and then a bachelor's of education. And I started my career as an assistant professor of business communication skills. Uh, after my marriage also, I continued uh, with this work. But later, due to imbalance in my personal and professional life, I switched on to school teaching job. Then I worked as an English teacher at school. And later, after my daughter's birth, I had to give up my job. And uh, I really don't regret that because my daughter is my priority. So later I worked as a spoken English and personality development trainer. I still am working. I offer online classes to students and uh, speaking sessions as well. And besides, I also have a channel on YouTube, which is Easy Learning with Surbhi. Yeah, oh, that's wonderful. Nice introduction of Surbhi. Uh, that's great. I thought you are... <laughs> what to say? I thought that you are not married <laughs> and you are married, you have a baby. How old is your daughter? <laughs> I take it as a compliment. Yes. <laughs> I'm married and I've been married for almost 10 years now. And oh. I have a beautiful daughter. She's 4.8 years old. Yeah, she goes in kindergarten. Okay, that's lovely, lovely. Actually, and you said that you take online classes. Do you take offline classes as well? Uh, Ma'am, I am offered uh, this job earlier, like few days ago, someone approached me, they want me to, uh, they want me to teach in their institute, but I'm not interested as of now, since I have a daughter and for me, it's quite tough to step out of my house. So I'm more comfortable with online classes and I completely forgot to tell you that I'm a tutor at English Yari also. Have you heard of English Yari? Yeah, I have heard about it. Oh, yeah. that's lovely. Lovely. Yeah. So you are a pretty talented person and you are doing so many things at the same time. You have a small baby, so you are balancing your uh, family life and professional life both, I can say. Yes, yes I'm trying to, trying to, ma'am. Yeah. Are you finding it difficult? It is difficult. Honestly speaking, not this, but I can say YouTube took a toll on my health. So I started, like I uploaded my first video on 17 December, 2022, and I had to work really hard. So I'm a basically, I'm basically like one woman army. So I make my own original content. I make solo videos and then I, I edit uh, my, all the videos by myself. And it takes 11 to 12 hours process, creating content, speaking, then editing, then uploading everything. So basically what happened is that I kept on sitting so much that I, you know, uh, lost lost my grip over my physical health and uh, I'm a bit suffering now due to some you know cervical pain also is there so I'm trying to reduce my screen time basically <laughs> yeah that's actually important uh, yeah. just because of yeah. that I too left my school job because uh, during COVID what happened that this online business started you know and yeah. uh, taking classes for nearly seven to eight hours not only classes I was coordinator in my school so first need to connect classes then having a strategy how to take classes and for new teachers how to appoint even teachers taking different meetings with different subject teachers so it was a long duration every time you are looking at a screen yeah yes. and because of that my power my eyesight and everything you know physically it's very difficult and especially for my age you can understand so i thought of just leaving actually i had two years i could have worked 
<laughs> but thank you whenever i uh, like when i saw your videos i really thought oh my gosh she's just she's such an educated woman she's so energetic other than being educated you're so energetic because i have my aunts and my family so my like paternal family uh, my most of the aunts are into school teaching and i know that you know balancing between personal professional life is quite tough and now even after getting retired you are working you are on youtube so you're an example for others that it's absolutely fine your journey doesn't stop after getting retired you still can work if you have energy if you have determination so uh, i'm i'm really proud of you ma'am you really are an inspiration thank you thank you so much actually that was the only reason i started this youtube channel because i knew after once getting retired i'll certainly uh, feel bored or maybe i'll find out something to do but this was the thing which i could have done anywhere sitting at any corner anywhere any time yes mm. so i just started and i was not that very consistent in the beginning and i knew that this is not going to work for me i was <laughs> about to surrender but then oh. i felt let me give it a try once again yeah. and then i started more or less uploading every day videos and i could see that yes now uh, i i am rewarded <laughs> i am rewarded you can so, say you do editing on your own or you have some kind of help no one is there that's only the reason that i face at times that there is some problem because you no know, household chores then uh, my age social responsibilities you can understand everywhere now i'm retired so i have no excuses i can't say that i have examination i have to check copies or anything so anybody wants me for anything even a small celebration i have to present myself uh, i can completely understand yes yeah. yes so that's the thing and i don't think that i am that very busy that i can't do editing and all now i have understood i have learned so yeah i'm doing it myself but yes it's quite time consuming yeah it is it is so yeah. time consuming yes mm -hmm. for people they must be thinking it's just for 20 minutes video but uh, taking sessions is very easy you know easily we can do that but once you sit and you see that somewhere some sentence went wrong you need to correct that and then you need to once again pay attention to whole video that where what went wrong how to correct that all those things and then after editing you need to think what strategy to be used to make thumbnail <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's a, it's a big task i never knew that uh, my journey on youtube that would be so tough i thought in my in 3 or 4 months i would gain my 1000 subscribers no big deal but then i was checking i mean i was a bit disappointed also but then at the same time like you said we should not surrender we should not give up we should you know before giving up we sh we must think that why in the first place we started that journey what was our goal so i thought to know instead of looking at the numbers i should look at my work i should focus on the right guidance so that's what kept me moving towards my journey and actually it's a nice journey and working on youtube it's like freelancing so you can any time say to you can any time do it even though you are not uploading every day at times it happens that you are not able to nobody is going to force you that you have to do it yes of yeah. course we feel like once we are consistent and we are getting results so we must try to upload something or the other every day but anything we cannot upload also we need to think before uploading everything so that makes us more busy because you need to think twice before uploading whether this uh, video yeah. is is for my channel or not i should do it or not so many many things no we need to think of yes okay uh, these things apart Uh, i want to know that as you are a tutor on uh, english yari yeah uh, hmm. so do you uh, take uh, beginners also as learners there or only you start uh, uh, with the learners of intermediate uh, level no no ma'am there are all kinds of learners there okay. are beginners to pre beginners also and all kinds of learners come there and uh, they can book sessions with me and besides i offer my own speaking sessions to my students like sometimes i receive mails from the learners they want to talk to me and they want to improve their english speaking skills so uh, we i offer that also but since i don't have that much time so i'm not able to give that much time to my work yeah so that is a problem 
uh, but otherwise okay. with time, with okay. time, I for more. Yes, hmm. fine, fine. Please continue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah ma'am, please, you, you can ask okay. questions related to yeah, English. I, just, I, I wanted to ask uh, one thing, that where from you start uh, to the beginners? What do you do? Do you check their vocabulary level, their tenses level, grammar level, speaking capacity? How do you uh, start your first day journey with like beginners? In classes in my own classes or at English Shari you're asking? English Shari or your own class? Well, with English Shari, we offer speaking sessions, ma'am. So they just talk. They speak in broken sentences. So I basically correct them and I give them some feedback and also guide them that how in their daily lives they can improve their English speaking skills. And if I talk about my group classes, so yeah. in the beginning, I make them speak a little bit. And when I know like pre beginners and beginners, they are quite a tight hand in their English language skills. So basically, I just teach them basic words. Like, for example, I just ask them, like I give them hints. For example, I tell them, OK, now in a room we have one table, uh, one television, one chair and a dressing table and a bed. Now tell me what kind of sentences do you make try to make more sentences so i give them very basic words so they start making short sentences ma'am i have a television in my house there is a small table so that way my motive is that that they should get familiar with the language our tongue should get familiar with the language you see we have been talking in our mother tongue or in hindi but to speak english you have to come out of your comfort zone so as soon as they take that baby step towards learning English with time they improve then I focus on their grammar but what I do that if I'm teaching 20% of grammar so rest of, rest of the percentage I focus on speaking so I ask them to either speak and write if they are not comfortable with speaking so I ask them to write something whatever they feel like writing write it down I give them the topic and that's how they start learning English so that is the journey according to me unlike in other institutes I have seen that these people like i won't like i don't want to offend anyone but i've seen that you know some people they are only business minded they just focus on grammar like one month they waste their time they waste their learners time teaching grammar whole time they really yeah, don't yeah, understand because, yes yes because but, they want fluency yeah but in my sessions i want my learners to speak a little bit in english in the beginning and then later on we can you know i can i can teach them more vocabulary and basically i don't focus on teaching them fancy vocabulary like fancy words as uh, i think basic english words and those words which are needed to speak in your daily lives we should focus on that rather than teaching them very complicated words that they would hardly use in their speech yes yeah. That's true. Actually, we should give them liberty to speak. Then only we can catch their fault and their areas where they are weak in. And yes, then we can work upon those areas and then they can improve. So th that's nice strategy. And how do you balance your uh, this? I asked you that uh, professional life and your family life. It's I know that you have a small baby. It's not that easy. Actually, when my daughter, she leaves at 9.15 a.m., and she comes back at around 1.30. So I have that much time uh, to practice my speaking and to prepare content with uh, for my YouTube channel. So what I do, I'm not able to upload that many videos. Like I have... I don't have that much time. So during this time, I try to utilize it for my YouTube or my speaking sessions. And besides, I have a house helper too. So in the evening, sometimes she's able to look after my daughter. So meanwhile, I can conduct my speaking sessions. And then evening, my husband comes back. So he also manages things. So that way, everything, you know, uh, my husband, I, and a little bit with the little bit helper, uh, my helpers help. So I'm able to manage things right now. Yeah. So let's I see. <laughs> I can understand. Yes, it's yeah. not that very easy. It sounds quite easy that you are working on such a nice platform like English Yari, but giving somebody time and uh, exactly at the same time, presenting yourself there it's not easy because baby when baby will start crying and when baby needs you yeah. you never know yes yeah so how right. old is your baby ma'am she's 4.8 years old she goes in kindergarten oh, yeah okay, okay. So, yes. to manage. Ah. 
Uh, yeah. she's just going now, to it. Few months ago, I started uh, teaching for social cause. Like I offered classes to those people who are needy and they cannot pay or they cannot afford classes. For them also, I started Batch Super 30. Oh. I want later also, like I have this dream. I want to do something for society as well. When, uh, uh, if God bless me with that much uh I can say, see, for everything, we need money. We need to invest something. If I have that much, so then I would love to do something for our society as well. So let's see when that day comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that day will come. You have long way to go. Yes. Your age is not like me. So you can do everything and anything is possible for you. Yes. Can you please tell me about your YouTube channel? A little bit, I want to know. Uh, the name of your channel and when did you start it and yes. how did you start it what yeah. motivated you to start <laughs> this yeah please so my, my channel's name is easy learning with Surbi. so this name was suggested by my mother actually she okay. suggested this name so basically i was uh, teaching in in a spoken english institute there I came across a man so he was a learner there he attended my uh, sessions and then uh, he just told me one day that ma'am no you cannot just sit here in these within these four walls you have to come out teach more people because you have great teaching skills so he is a person who helped me made my channel he's into IT industry so his name is Rakesh Sharma he helped me start my channel he edited my first video and I still remember uh, it took me one month to start like to upload my first video and also to prepare myself because I always counted myself in an audience. <laughs> I was a viewer always. <laughs> I never taught myself to be on camera. And I, yeah. I asked, I told my mother, you know, mama, how will I look? What will people say? What will my relatives say? Look what she's doing. So she said, leave everything aside. You just focus on your work. You just focus on your journey. So she is the one. She also inspired me a lot. So that's how I started my channel. So I can say it has been a very tough journey for me. And like I told you, it took a toll on my physical health also. But I can say that when you face yourself on camera and when you speak, you become more confident with time. Yes, yes. I totally agree with this point. You know, I yeah. was when once online class started, no, uh, during COVID time, my hands were shivering before clicking the link. Yes, that I don't know how, how would I uh, face these many children? Children are sitting at home. Parents might be looking on the screen what teacher is going. So many things in the mind, you know. So yeah. once you start, yes, start facing this camera, uh, confidence level increases i i too feel this yeah and you know this is one of the secrets like i can say one of the tips that i give to my all the learners when they are not confident i just ask them to just turn on your camera on selfie mode and start speaking in english whatever come across whatever you think or whatever come across in your mind just think speak in english you see when you do that every day after a week you see your growth you will be confident I'm sure you will be confident and then you will be able to figure out your mistakes also. So that technique is quite useful, I can say. For me, it is actually. <laughs> no, for everybody, it is if we are really doing it sincerely yeah, on a regular yeah. basis. It's not that one week we did and after that, okay, we'll do it later. Yes. Mm. So that doesn't work. If we really want to learn this language, we need to be consistent. Every day, at least, we need to find out means and ways to practice. Right, right. And one more, one more thing I have seen that students get confused between English language and communication skills. So many students tell me, ma'am, we want yes. to improve our communication. And then I say, okay, so for that, uh, our content would be different so say ma'am english we have to learn english i say you see there these two are completely different things in english language is what it's a language to communicate but if you want to improve your communication skills it's completely different though it's english a package you can say yes of communication skills so what i do that sometimes learners know how to speak uh, what to speak in English, but they really don't know how to speak, how to express their ideas effectively in English language. So I 
guide my all my students that please learn english also but do understand that how to communicate effectively you are not there to flaunt you are not there to tell anyone that see you see i can speak in english now but what is the use when you don't know how to speak with anyone so i focus on both the things that english learning also and communication also and personality too that is very important yeah that's true that's true so yes uh, any question for me survi ma'am actually have... i have so many question but the first question is i really would love to know about your background that from where do you come and how did you start your journey so i really want that leave that for your channel <laughs> when we meet we go for your channel yeah i will ask you for my channel only that is why i did not ask you to introduce yourself Okay. I thought your viewers must be knowing about you, yes. so yes. yeah. So we, we can, can end the conversation. Is it okay? Pardon? Now we can end the conversation by adding something, uh, something useful for the learners. Yeah. That can just one, just one point from Surabhi as a trainer. I would love to know from you that what would you recommend the learners? Well, I would tell them that. if i uh, as a person when there was no internet there were no resources to learn and i from belong to a punjabi family if i can speak you all can learn today that to when you have oodles of resources around you if you have determination if you have curiosity to learn start doing it start taking few steps like for example for me in the beginning listening helped me my teachers they used to speak in english but i i never understood them but later with time one day i started speaking in english so listening helped me a lot so what i can say is please start watching something in english or reading immerse yourself in english language for example if you are a follower of any personality any celebrity listen to their interviews listen to their speeches like for example i like priyanka chopra i like her speeches and i like like her way of speaking so listen whatever you like listen along with that reading read something every day pick anything whatever you like not necessary you have to buy any expensive book if you have uh, children stories if you have newspaper at your home read whatever you like but when you read you concentrate on it you understand words you understand sentences and these two activities will help you improve your english and the main key to english is speak so speak uh, if you can't afford uh, money for the session speaking session speak with yourself like even now also i talk to myself before uh, creating content for my channel i talk to myself i assume that people are listening to me i speak in english so that's how i practice my speaking so all learners can do that so do these things on your own and you will definitely improve why not then i can 100% say you can improve yourself yeah so in short we must allow ourselves to make mistake and speak a lot yes, yes. in short yes <laughs> yes yeah. sir we it was a wonderful session with you lovely connecting to you i think i did a great thing messaging you and you accepted it so i'm very grateful that you are right on time you are right on time that i appreciate from bottom of my heart and yes for now bye bye i can say but yes we will meet again this is not enough one meeting is not going to be enough so live i would love to go live on my youtube channel with you yes we can do that we That's can do that That, because yeah. i have till now i have not taken any live session so i have to learn that yes so one day we can do that yes easy we can do yes yes we can do that so take a very good care of yourself your family very especially your baby yes and grow like anything it's my blessing thank you so much ma'am thank you thank you <laughs> bye 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 sir we okay bye bye